Panama City Beach Library, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little origami puppies. Um, all you're going to need is some origami paper and a marker for details. Uh, I'm using standard size origami paper, which is six inches to a side. Uh, you can use whatever size you want, but let's get started. All right. Here we have our origami paper. We're going to turn it white side up. If yours doesn't have a white side, it's just the same color both sides, that's perfectly fine, don't worry. Um, so, we're going to take this side and we're going to turn it over so that there's a little triangle here. Just gonna make sure we line up the edges before we press down and make the fold. Um, if you don't get it perfectly fine, that's perfectly lined up, that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna do it again on this side. Again, you're going to want to make sure it's lined up as best you can, but if you make a little side that's uneven, that's fine. We're still learning. Practice makes better and you can always try again. So, now we've got these two lines in the paper and we're going to take a corner, fold it in so the point meets the center where the two lines cross. We're going to fold down. We're going to do it again for each side. Uh, if you overlap or have a gap, that's fine. Don't worry. I'm going to do that on each side. And there we go. So you're going to have a little blue square. Um, so now we're going to take one of the flaps and open it and fold it down. So you've got this fun little wedge shape. I'm going to turn it so it's like this. Now, this is the hardest part. You're going to take this and open it up and we're trying to make a little shape here for the head. Now you don't want it to line up completely. Oh goodness. You want to leave some room for the legs, and you want to bring this down enough. <laughs> the ears, are you joking? Um. <laughs> okay, uh, and you know what, sometimes you just gotta do the best you can. So there you go. It should look something like that. If you can get it a little closer, that's great. But we had some gaps, and so these little bits here are just a little bit bigger than they normally would be. That's no problem. So we're gonna take this corner right here. There's a little flap. We're gonna take the corner and turn it up just a little ways. And then we're gonna take the cor this corner again and turn it down a little ways. And there you have a little muzzle. We're gonna take the ears, well, oops, well, corners here, and they're gonna make the ears. We're gonna fold them down, fold them down. You don't want them to go completely along the edges here. You want them to go in a little bit, frame the face, and there you have your puppy's face. Here, let's, let's push this down just a little more. There we go. All right, so now we gotta make the legs. The legs are going to come across here. So we're gonna take this, take this little corner here, and we're gonna fold it in. We're gonna fold that down. So should have one leg like this and the other still pointing out. Now we're going to take this other corner and we're gonna fold it in. And we want it to line up as best we can so that it'll stand up straight. Fold down. And there you have your little puppy. Now let's add some features to the face. We're gonna take our marker. I've just got a Sharpie on me right now. And we're just gonna color in the nose. Cute little black button nose. And then we're gonna draw an eye. And another eye. If you want, you can color in the ears, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And you can give them little spots, little little bits to give your puppy personality. But there you have your fun little puppy. 
And now that you know how to make your own little puppy friends, you can make a whole litter. And you can do them in any color you want, it, with any pattern. And if you want, you can even add some little googly eyes. I think it adds a lot of character too. Now, y'all have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see y'all at the library. Bye!